Good morning. I'm Rick Gentry, the President and CEO of the San Diego Housing Commission, and welcome. For the third consecutive year, the San Diego Housing Commission is the lead organizer of Project Homeless Connect, which is a one-day resources fair for homeless San Diegans. Project Homeless Connect will occur on January the 30th at Golden Hall at the Community Concourse behind City Hall. Our major organizing partners for this event are Family Health Centers of San Diego, St. Vincent de Paul Villages, and the Interfaith Shelter Network. At last year's event in 2012, we helped some 941 individuals, including 112 children. Among the services that these individuals received were health evaluations, clothing donations, haircuts, and a number of other personal services that are not otherwise available to them. And we expect the need this year to be even greater. Today, the Housing Commission will be releasing a report that provides a snapshot of the participants we served last year. And this is a good indication of who will be walking through the doors of Project Homeless Connect in just a few weeks. And let me give you just a few facts based on that, this report that ca caught my attention this morning. More than 70% of the participants last year were between the ages of 41 and 70 years of age. Males accounted for 67% of those we served, women 33%. Non-minorities made up 45% of the population group, followed by African Americans at 25% and Hispanic Americans at 19%. 85% were unemployed, 29% had monthly incomes under $500, more than half had medical conditions. 44% were living on the street, 13% in an emergency shelter, and 12% in transitional housing. This report confirms that we need to work together to continue to find solutions to homelessness. This, this, this report I'll point out was compiled by the Housing Commission's Housing Innovations Department, which is led by Vice President Matt Packard and his team. And there are a number of folks who've come together to make this event possible and, and made the last few successes. We're sure this year will be the same. And it's my honor now to introduce to you this year's seventh annual Project Homeless Connect Honorary Co-Chairs. Those co-chairs are San Diego Mayor Bob Filner, Ms. Bronwyn Ingram, and San Diego City Council President Todd Gloria. Mayor Filner. Uh, thank you, Rick, and uh, we thank the Housing Commission for all its uh, efforts on, their, on, uh, on behalf of uh, the homeless. You know, this is unacceptable in America and in San Diego. We are the richest country in the history of the world. There simply is no reason for us to have homelessness. We have the resources to end this scourge, not only uh, on our economic uh, stability, but uh, our humanity as individuals. Uh, we have to do these efforts in the short run, and we thank you, uh, Rick and the Commission, for taking a holistic approach. A variety of services that we don't even think of every day are absolutely necessary, whether uh, you know, it's some help with legal help, a haircut, dental, um, uh, dental assistance, stuff that we take for granted uh, is just uh, a luxury. And to put all these services together is incredible, so we thank you. Uh, but I know we have to take a longer-range approach, and uh, I know uh, Council President Gloria and I are, are at one in saying that uh, we are going to do everything we can, everything we can, to eliminate homelessness in San Diego. Uh, that is our goal. Uh, through permanent housing and through the kinds of services that you have, our job is to put this resource uh, fair out of business. That is, uh, if we have permanent housing, if we have the wraparound services that are, uh, that are important for everybody, we can end this situation in San Diego. It's unacceptable, and I know that Council President and I are going to work together to make sure uh, that it ends right here in San Diego. And if I may present our Council President, Todd Gloria. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mayor Filner, and I want to thank you uh, for sharing my passion uh, for working on this important issue. And I also want to thank uh, your wonderful fiance, uh, Bronwyn Ingram, who is our, one of our honorary co-chairs uh, and has been uh, already working very diligently on this issue. I want to speak uh, to the citizens of San Diego and let them know that you can make a difference, a profound difference, in the lives of some of our most vulnerable neighbors. Uh, in addition to signing up to volunteer, I'm here to urge you to clear out your closets because you probably have a few items, like an old winter coat, uh, that you no longer need, but that could be uh, very useful to someone who's living on the streets, uh, who's staying in a shelter, barely making ends meet. Last year, through Project Homeless Connect, our donations, thanks to the good people who are here uh, helping to spread the word, our donations tripled in volume. We can do that again. Uh, in addition uh, to gently used clothing, uh, we're asking for brand new socks, uh, suitcases with ro uh, rollers, uh, and a number of other items that prove very helpful to those in need. Uh, toiletries are also very needed. Brand new toothbrushes and toothpaste, shampoo and soap uh, are useful. And I'm happy to say that this council is continuing its uh, leadership role uh, in working on homelessness issue. As you see, I'm joined by a number of my colleagues on the council today. They, too, are joining uh, the mayor and I uh, and Ms. Ingram in making sure that we're doing everything we can to end homelessness in this city. Uh, and so uh, to lead by example, uh, I have today uh, some some gloves uh, and some tube socks. This is the kind of stuff that we're asking for. So if you have this at home, if you have the ability to donate, please do so. We want to help those who are most vulnerable in our community who are living uh, in the very low winter temperatures. Uh, we need to help those folks out. You can make a difference today. Project Homeless Connect is how you can do that. Now you'll hear from some of my colleagues who are also making donations. Uh, Council President Pro Tem Sherry Leitner. I want to thank you all for being here. Thanks especially to the Housing Commission for their ongoing leadership on addressing homelessness in San Diego. I want to commend Mayor Filner and Bronwyn for their renewed commitment to ending homelessness, as well as my colleague, Council President Todd Gloria, who has been a tireless champion for the homeless population. Homelessness is a complex problem that requires both leadership and the spirit of collaboration. We all must work together to help ensure that we have the services and the housing available so no one is forced to live on the streets. I'm asking everyone in San Diego to find a way, find a way to donate and contribute to the upcoming 7th Annual Project Homeless Connect, a resource fair designed to help end homelessness. Dig into your closets. Find that gently used clothing and shoes because there is a real need, especially as the weather grows colder. If you are a business owner, you can help too. The event needs help to, with services such as haircuts, dental screenings, and so much more. These are all small but very important steps to help tackle homelessness in San Diego. I urge everyone to get involved. I have a couple of jackets I'm going to stick in the bin as well. I'll invite Council Member David Alvarez. Thank you, Council Member Leitner, and I'm going to address the media in Spanish, if, if you don't mind, so they have a chance as well. Uh, gracias por acompañarnos. Estamos anunciando el séptimo año de estas donaciones de este evento que se dirige a apoyar a la gente que más necesita en nuestra comunidad. Tenemos donaciones de, de ropa que está un poco usada o nueva, preferiblemente. Eh, todo lo que se necesita para el higiene, higiene uh, personal también es importante. Así que les pedimos a todos que, por favor, apoyen eh, este evento el día 30 de enero y todos traemos un poquito, todos los miembros del Cabildo traemos un poco para compartir y sabemos que la gente de la comunidad también quiere compartir y ayudar. Les uh, pedimos que, que nos acompañen en este, este gran uh, problema que tenemos y que queremos resolver aquí en San Diego que es con la gente que no tiene, no tiene hogar. Así que muchas gracias. Yo traje uh, ropa también de mujer porque muchas veces se nos olvida, también hay mujeres que están sin, sin casa, sin hogar y también uh, desafortunadamente niños, uh, niños que se encuentran sin hogar. Así que muchas gracias. And uh, I'm Marty Emerald, City Council Member. Um, it occurred to me standing in line, this is uh, this week, 27 years ago, I went out on the street uh, as part of a, an investigative story I was doing to find out what it was like to be a homeless woman in San Diego. And uh, it was one of the more profound experiences of my life. And now fast forward 27 years and I find that the problems are 
very much the same as they were then. The numbers are very much the same. And uh, the obstacles to overcoming homelessness are very much the same. Uh, what's different is in the last few years in particular, uh, the city uh, in, in its many departments, whether it's the council, whether it's the housing commission, our police department, our uh, fire rescue, uh, has come together with a new resolve to address homelessness. Uh, we have a new transitional center that will be opening soon. Uh, we have uh, teams uh, on the street uh, contacting uh, homeless men and women to see how we can be helpful and get them into shelters. And we have these annual events sponsored by uh, uh, the Housing Commission and many nonprofit groups that understand that if we can give a person a hand up, not necessarily a handout, but a hand up it can make all the difference in the world. Just being noticed, uh, just the sense that somebody cares about you as a human being uh, can instill some inspiration and uh, uh, for a person who's been down and out. Uh, the biggest problem facing homeless, uh, of course, there's the mental illness, which is a profound problem in the homeless population. Uh, but the sense of being invisible. And what we're saying to the homeless men and women among us uh, is you are not invisible. You do count. And what happens to you is important, not just to you, but to each and every one of us, because we are all impacted by the problem of homelessness. So uh, we ask everyone, between now and January 30th, find a way that you can make a difference, that you can offer a hand up. And, and please, follow through and do it, whether it's a donation of clothing or toiletries or uh, a donation of your time and talent at the event itself. Uh, coming together as a community is, I believe, the only way we're going to fully address this problem and resolve this problem of homelessness in San Diego. So give, give from your heart, give fully, and uh, thank you for your participation in making a difference. And now, Mark Kersey from the District uh, 5 Council Office. Thank you, Marty. Uh, I Mark Kersey representing the 5th Council District and you know a lot of people don't think of the 5th District as uh, having homeless and certainly we don't have the problem that, that the downtown and other parts of the city do but we do have some homeless people and this is truly a citywide uh, citywide issue that we all need to come together to uh, to try to combat. I want to thank the uh, the Housing Commission and, and Rick for his leadership. Uh, it's one of the most effective housing uh, authorities in the entire state and I want to thank all the donors who come together and make this possible because uh, your contribution is really treated like an investment uh, through the work of the Housing uh, Commission, uh, their fiscal prudence and their strategic management approach. I want to thank the organizations uh, that partner with the Housing Commission, including the Family Health Centers of San Diego, St. Vincent de Paul Village, and the Interfaith uh, Shelter Network as well. I want to thank the mayor and, uh, and my colleague Todd Gloria uh, for serving as the honorary co-chairs of this event and for their leadership on this, uh, this very important issue to all of us. Uh, and, you know, Project Homeless Connect represents a new, better approach uh, to solving the challenge of homelessness. Uh, we work not only to get people off the streets, back to self-sufficiency, uh, but also to learn more and to identify ways that we can proactively move forward. Uh, the survey research that, that this project conducts uh, is one such invaluable tool. The data allows us to provide resources effectively and to, to build a preventative approach. I look forward to working in partnership with the leaders that you see before you here today, uh, and we have to because San Diego's most vulnerable individuals uh, and families are counting on us. So thank you all very much. It's a little bit difficult for me. Um, our, our staff um, all came together and each and every one of us uh, went through our, our closets and, and looking for anything that we could um, donate and my staff has been terrific. We have many bags, many, many bags. But for me over the weekend, um, I started going through uh, my sister's belongings and um, she passed away a few months ago. She lived in the Reno Tahoe area so I knew she would have a lot of warm jackets and gloves, mittens, scarves, and lots of things that people need uh, during the winter. So I spent a very difficult day yesterday finally going through her belongings, 
and washing them and, and getting them pre prepared for today, I didn't really realize uh, the impact it would have on me. Um, she suffered from mental illness. Um, my sister had some um, mental behavioral problems and sometimes perilously close to living on the street. And so I thought, what, um, what better honor for her and her clothing than uh, to bring it to the people who need it. There's a lot more to come. I've promised a lot to a battered women's shelter and a lot of her belongings will be going there as well. But this really was finally the impetus for me to get in and get through it. And um, thank you. And I, I, I hope it goes to some, um, I know it will go to um, a lot of uh, worthy people. And one thing I would ask, I know you've been asked to look through and look for belongings, but um, as we were standing outside here, I thought, wouldn't it be awesome for somebody who does manicures, I need one myself, <laughs> and, and pedicures, uh, to come and pamper some of these people who really just don't get to ever have a manicure. And uh, you know, just having some nice nails, I know the occasion I do it makes you feel really good. So if you're somebody who can do that, uh, that would be terrific to come down and, and just really show that special love and caring uh, to some people who really need it. Thank you. Oh, staff, can you bring? We've got <laughs> Alex. Thank you. We've got a bunch of stuff. They're Forever 21 bags. Uh, that's for my kids. Yeah, the shopping for my kids. Somebody said I should be shopping at Forever 41. <laughs> if if they would open that up, I'll I'll be there. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Boyd Long, the Assistant Chief for the San Diego Police Department. I'm actually the Assistant Chief over all the uniformed officers, so I brought a suit in that I no longer will be wearing as the uniform Assistant Chief, but I brought it for one reason, for success. And that's what this was really driven toward, is finding success for people who haven't had good success in the past. And I got to thank the Housing Commission, our mayor, for his forward thinking on this, and making it a chance for people to become successful. That's what helping the homeless is about. Last year I had the chance to go through the Project Connection also and walk through and look at the faces of the people that were there. And I have to say, it is such a rewarding experience to see people getting offered help and it's most rewarding to see them taking that help and then going on to do something very constructive with their lives. So again, thank you to the Housing Commission, Rick and your team, and thank you to our mayor for his leadership uh, in this very, very important area. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Javier Maynor, our city's fire chief. I just uh, want to tell you how pleased I was to be invited to this event. Uh, you know, um, Rick Gentry mentioned something uh, that really speaks to my heart as being a firefighter here for so many years. About 50 percent of the population of homeless have medical problems. And those very frequently where our firefighters and where I over the many years uh, have interacted with them. And it's very a very fragile population. You know, as we all drive into downtown to go to work, we may pass some people just kind of uh, getting ready for their day as they pick up their belongings from the sidewalk. And you look at how cold it is uh, and has been for the last few days, it really kind of strikes deep into your heart about how fortunate all of us are to have some of the very you know, basic things that we have available to us from warm shelter to clothing to the, the ability to bathe and take care of ourselves and, and things that quite often if you don't stop to reflect, you tend to take for granted. So I'm very proud to be a part of a team like this um, to help this problem. It is really a shame in our country, as, as wealthy as it is, that we have this, but please look deep into your heart. And if you can give a little bit, please do so. It'll make a big difference. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Uh, just to put a, a point on this, we're asking uh, for you to pledge your support today uh, to volunteer, to provide services or a donation to Project Homeless Connect. Please join our team. You may find out more information by visiting the San Diego Housing Commission's website at www.sdhc.org um, or certainly contact my office. I'd be happy to put people in connection uh, to connect with Project Homeless Connect. There you go. Um, all right, everyone. Please, everyone can do their part. I hope that you'll join us at Project Homeless Connect. Thanks, everybody.